Okay, we're going to solve this equation using the complete the square method. CTS stands for complete the square. First thing we need to do is move the constant 20 by adding it to both sides to the other side respective to x squared plus 5x. The reason 20 needs to be moved primarily is it does not complete the square with respect to the 5 here. Half of 5 squared is not negative 20. So we're going to build the term that does complete the square so we can ultimately get this thing into a factored form known as a perfect square factorization. So our first step is to take half the b value, which would be 5 halves, and square it. That is the little algorithm that gives us this pattern. So we get 25 fourths. Of course, that's positive. We just squared it. And because we added it to the left, we must also add it to the right side of the equation. So 25 fourths over here. And now we've got a little bit of work to do. The first part's really fun because this entire trinomial, we just engineered it to factor into a perfect square factor pattern. So this is going to be x, and then it's going to be plus, because the b term was positive, and 5 halves. We take that value we just squared, half the b term, and that's what goes in the factor. The other piece of this takes a little bit of work, but it's just a calculator step. We're going to add 23 plus 25 fourths in our TI-84. And when you do that, you're going to end up with getting a number that is uh, 29.25. Now, that's not a tough number to convert to a fraction, but our goal is to deal with reduced improper fractions because the next few steps will be easier if we keep it in terms of fractions. So right after you get this answer in the calculator, hit the math button, which is right below the alpha key towards the top left. Hit math, and then hit enter twice. Math, enter, enter. And what that does, math menu, the first option there is a fraction conversion. By hitting enter, you initiate that command, and by hitting enter the second time, you execute that command. So that will return an answer of 1 17 fourths. So that is the reduced improper fraction of 29.25. And so that's what we bring down here and write on the right side. Okay, now we're done with the CTS part. What we need to do now is solve. The goal here was to solve. So we're going to take a look at both sides and we've got x inside a perfect square expression and that's the only x. So I can free that x up if I take the square root of both sides. Since we're bringing that operational layer in, we're going to also bring in the plus or minus. That'll go on the right side with the numbers. It'll be easier to control over there. So the plus or minus on that radical. On the left, we've got that radical reducing out the squared layer. Now we've got x plus 5 halves all out in the open. On the right, I'm going to rewrite this fraction in a radical as a fraction of the two separate radicals. You can do that. You can break up um, fractions that way if they land inside of a radical. And that's nice. And this is kind of the reason we went back to fractions instead of using the decimal 29.25 is so we could just deal with plus or minus radical 117 over 2, because that's that's just 2 downstairs for square root 4. All right, now we need to solve for x, so we're going to subtract the 5 halves from both sides. And that brings us to a pretty good answer. This is actually suitable for the first couple weeks of school. No worries here. This is a good-looking answer. I know this isn't what's on the key. Um, the generated key with this software that we're using does reduce radicals uh, automatically, so I'll show you how to do that, or at least talk through it here. But we'll go more in depth with reducing radicals in the near future. If this were a quiz question, please rest assured I'd accept this answer in September uh, towards the beginning of the year. So to, to get the answer in the key, what they've done is they've looked at the factors of 117, and it is possible to factor 
117 into 9 times 13. Um, that takes a little bit of effort. There are some methods to speed up the factor process, but if you take a look at the square root of 117 as the product of those two radicals, you can just reduce radical 9 to 3, and so you have 3 times radical 13. And so the answer you'll find in the generated key a lot of times for a problem like this is negative 5 halves plus or minus 3 rad 13 over 2. That's a dandy answer. That's a good way to write it. And that's what we probably will end with. Thank you.